So I need to run 13.47. Uh, last season I ran 13.42, uh, about a month before the qualifying period opened, so I know that I can do it. Um, I've just got to, you know, get it, get my body into good shape and, uh, you know, be healthy and and uh, execute. I'm aiming to, to compete uh, well in, in Europe in June, uh, so I'll have about five or six uh, good races over there and, and hopefully I'll get the qualifier there and be off to Rio. I've, I've changed from eight strides to seven strides at the start, um, which may not sound like much, but um, it means I've got to completely change the, the way that I the way that I start. I, I've got to go on a different leg. Um, I've got to take really really long big strides as opposed to short ones, which is what I used to do. And it uh, it's just yeah, you need to be a lot stronger, um, a lot faster to the first hurdle. And it's been a, a very big change for me. But uh, I'm getting used to it now. And and uh, you know by the time year it comes around, um, hopefully I will have I'll be nailing it. And, and it'll be uh, working for me a lot better than my old start. I think making a semi-final at my first Olympics would be amazing. Uh, so that's definitely my my main goal. Um, but you know, first off, all, all eyes are on getting that that qualifier. Um, you know, that, that's that's what I've got to do and getting my body healthy. And um, you know, once once I've got that, then you know, making a semi-final would be fantastic. And hurdles is hurdles. Anything can happen. Um, I know that from from before in the Commonwealth Games. I was ranked 15th going in and ended up coming fourth. So. You know, once once I'm in that semi-final, um, you know I'll be aiming to make a final. If I get in that final, then I'll be aiming to, to run as fast as I can and hope that everyone else falls over.